So again, we see a lot of improvements here. So uh, let's get back to industry, to where can we ask to Pak Indra here about how Telkom can lead uh, the innovation in Indonesia. Okay, uh, thank you. Um, um, yeah, Telkom, I think we are in the telecommunication and digital uh, business uh, providers. So um, I think as we keep building the infrastructure, I will say that maybe the infrastructure never as good as today. I, I didn't say that it's already good, yeah? But I, will, I would like to say that it's progressing, it's developed, and also as Pune can also saying that the government is very uh, serious in how to improve the infrastructure as the innovation infrastructure. But we don't have to wait for that. But we, at least how we can uh, nurture and grow the uh, innovation on top of the infrastructures. So I will say that in this fourth industrial revolution, actually, it's empowering all of us. It's, there's no hurdles to innovate. So what left is actually the creativity, the innovation, yeah, the uh, concept, ideas. So I think the key now, if you see the whatever the country that lead, is actually in two things. First, you know, on the people, and second is on the planet or the systems. So first, I think how we can keep uh, nurture or build or uh, building capacity, or bu building the talent. Yeah. So as uh, uh, has been uh, mentioned early on, that it's, it can be start from very early. So uh, building the entrepreneurship, the entrepreneurial mindset uh, from very early uh, age, uh, I think it's important. So Telkom offer what we call as 3P, 3P approach. First is people, how to develop talent, entrepreneurs. And I think invest in entrepreneur is very important. It's a social investment. Uh, and then second is build the planet, how to, to, to put the people can grow. Uh, there is a facilities, there is an incubators, there is a mentors that's uh, uh, ready to support, and also there is a, a kind of discipline of methodology, as Pak Ilham also mentioned, that innovation has to be also has the discipline, fail fast, then uh, succeed faster, using the discipline that make, uh, managing the risk of doing the innovation. So methodology, mentors, uh, facilities is part of the planet that we built. We built uh, also the capacity building in five, 15 cities yeah, for nurturing the talent. Uh, embracing the enthusiasm, the energy of young people in 15 cities, and then after that, yeah, we, and also along with uh, Bec Becraft, yeah? Becraft also has the program for backup, so uh, nurturing the uh, pre-startup uh, uh, young people, so uh, build them the capacity, then after that go for innovation, then go for incubators and then accelerators, then for growth stage for the venture. So Telcom tried to build the end-to-end the -end ecosystem, but then the uh, after the planet, I think the last part is participation. I think this one, this kind of uh, uh, event today is one of the movement that important to embrace the academia, the business, the government, and also communities and media together and bring this become something that keep uh, growing and uh, harnessing. And um, I think this become a home to, to meet between the, the one who knows the one who capable and the one who empower. So hopefully by combining this all through and we can fine tuning, then hopefully the movement can 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 grow and, and accelerate later on. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you for also for the insight and also for uh, sharing that what Telcom have been done and also now currently doing in terms of like uh, in programs and also funding and also to fostering innovation. So we have heard from academic, from business, from government, and also from community base. So we would like to hear from you. How do you see and how we can foster innovation, especially how can we synergize toward innovative Indonesia? So you can free to talk, to give your opinion, or to ask anything. Yes. Hi, 
Uh, I'm Teresa, I'm from British Council here in Jakarta. Uh, just to say it's a fantastic session and thank you to Intel for inviting us. Um, I would just like to perhaps underline um, and say I think it's really important that as well as providing access you know, to all the young people to, to um, the digital infrastructure and knowledge, um, that they, they have access and have bridges to the communities like the fishing community that Pat Harry yeah, mentioned and also as um, Pat Cody mentioned, you know, working with people that are facing the develop development challenges because the young people don't necessarily know what people are facing out there and um, there's a sort of a, a, a language gap there. So I think those that access and those bridges are important. I think higher education is also plays an important role in this because they, you know, I, I think particularly in Indonesia where they have a, a role to work with communities anyway, uh, but also of course with industry. So I think, uh, you know, I wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly agree that innovation doesn't have to happen in the lab with the white coats. Um, it, it happens out there when people are interfacing. Um, but it's important that the young people are also aware of what's out there. So it's, it's just really um, agreeing and, um, you know, uh, acknowledging, I think, that the initiatives of Intel and, and USAID and other organizations, but we need to make sure that 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 communication is, is and the access isn't just to the digital, but to the people with the challenges. Because if, as much as we've got the new jobs of the future that we don't know now, as we know, you know, maybe we're looking at 80% of the jobs now not existing. So that's, you know, a lot of unemployed people potentially. So that's all, but yeah, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Speaking of the jobs that not created a long time ago, but now exist, like, have you ever heard about interactive designer something really new maybe for us so thank you very much for your comments and can we have also someone from this side yes okay hi uh, i'm shruti goel from sankal forum an initiative of avishkar intellicap group of family um, group of companies and uh, my I just wanted to comment on, this was a really interesting session and looking at innovations from various aspects, nurturing innovations right from a young age to uh, solving problems through uh, technology or non-technology solutions. However, one aspect that we all as an ecosystem need to understand is the need for capital. The need for capital wherein we see thousands of innovations come in, thousands of prototypes come in but how many of them actually make it to scale? How many unicorns are we seeing, are we seeing from a country like Indonesia coming out? Or how many um, innovators are being able to reach the markets that they, are sub that they are innovating for? So the value of death that all of these innovators get trapped into is something that we all as ecosystem players need to work on. Um, capital is, a, is the most important part. Is, a very, very important part there, and traditional investors would not take the risk which comes into an innovation. A high-risk uh, investment is something that everybody uh, is wary of. So the importance of impact investment, importance of patient capital being put in, um, looking at which is nurturing enough which, uh, is, I think, very important right now. And we all should be looking at uh, developing such investors, developing such investments into our programs, into our uh, workshops, into our... Thank you. Well, that's a very good point of the uh, importance of investment, also investor, to assist, also to help the innovation in Indonesia. So, um, yes, there's one. Yes, can, yes. Can you introduce? Uh, well, thanks. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Finero Matisham. I am from uh, Bulukumba, South Sulawesi. Indonesia. Uh, so with Intel, I make a Juku text. Juku text is a social language language. Juku is fish and text is technology. So Juku text fix technology. And I want to combine the technology and the culture. So Juku text is a microcontroller project that combine Intel Genuino, fish finder, and module GSM. And then uh, we put a Juku text in 
in the rumpon. Rumpon is like the same home fish. Home fish. It's a, uh, maybe if you maybe uh, you know that rumpon, and you search in Google. What is the rumpon? So, <laughs> uh, so my my father is fisherman. Uh, I am uh, my family. Uh, so many family is a fisherman. So sometimes I I see uh, my father go to rumpon, go to the sea, but uh, he don't take, he don't uh, he don't see a fish. So I think uh, we must do something for help my father and help my family in my village. So I. Uh, then I joined to uh, Intel boot camp, uh, Intel National Boot Camp, and from that I uh, I learning how to make something by uh, Intel Genuino. So I make a Juco text. Uh, Juco text is uh, we I think Juco text uh, can help uh, reduce uh, gasoline operational cost. So uh, if a fisherman uh, if a fisherman to go to the sea, uh, we we can uh, we can reduce a operational a gasoline operational cost. Uh, so you could text is if you, there's a fish in the room pond, so you could text will be a send notification in the fisherman hand pond by SMS because uh, you know there's so many fishermen uh, don't know about uh, Android or uh, so I I just have. Uh, short message SMS and the first the first I the first I say about Juco text in the fisherman uh, they are, they are say no it's a technology uh, so many fishermen is done like a technology because uh, uh, they are always say the technology uh, changes my cal uh, changes their culture so I I bring a Juco text this is a Juco text Juco text uh, will combine culture and technology. Like a name, Juku is a fish and tech is technology. Juku text is a technology and the culture. Uh, maybe like that, thank you. Let me, I'll just add something. Finn is an example of a mathematics teacher who's turned an innovator to solve a problem she saw in her community using technology. And MICT awarded her project as the most innovative project, and they're willing to do a pilot in 500 villages going ahead. So. Okay, wow, that's uh, very uh, amazing. Uh, that's, that's so amazing because we do have a real case here that Indonesia is full of innovators, actually. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, that our time is up, but I can sense that you have a lot of questions, a lot of uh, suggestions also. You can, yes. Oh, we can, you do have another 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. Sorry. So we can open up for more questions, more. Yes, please. Can you please uh, tell us about your name, your institution, and if you do have a question, to whom that you like to address it? Okay, thank you for the opportunity. My name is Danar Indra, I'm from Alternative Media Group, and I would like to ask a question for the people who are in charge, which is its Indonesian government. It's interesting for me that, uh, according to the quote, that innovation is an attitude. But as we know that nowadays, this generation trapped in, a, in the growth of technology. The media has two side, two side effect that Either it's helping to make them creating or innovating, and also in the other hand, it can lock them to some kind of addiction, which also can kill the attitude of generation to have a spirit of innovation. So, what do you see, especially in innovation point of view? That's the first questions. The second is how we can encourage the Indonesian generation to have a spirit of innovation in terms of Indonesian education characteristic is very different than other countries. And also, you know, if, if we are like seeing, it's not only about applying the uh, new education system, support them or jo in joining the, uh, the, uh, joining the competition or et cetera, but we need something very clear and real in a Indonesian government point of view. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So I guess your questions 
address to Pak Ananta and also to Bu Niken. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Bapak dan Ibu. So, the first question is about the innovation as attitude, and also the second question about how do we build the characteristic of Indonesian innovators. Yeah. Yes. To whom? Like the first. <coughs> yeah. Uh, for uh, encourage <laughs> innovation for uh, young generation, uh, Minister of Communication and Information Technology, uh, we uh, enforce uh, 1,000 technopreneurs uh, to uh, make a startup uh, industry. We uh, we got the technopreneur, new technopreneur. Uh, with uh, many, many steps. One step, uh, we make a workshop to, uh, to give them uh, knowledge and also uh, yeah, knowledge about uh, innovation, about uh, the development of uh, internet and also digitalization uh, for the uh, young, young people. And also, we make incubation, incubation for the young uh, generation. And uh, we have uh, 1,000 startup digital movement uh, in MCIT. And uh, the characteristic uh, of young generation in Indonesia may be uh, different with a young generation uh, in uh, the other countries, but I think uh, they have the same, the same, uh, uh, the same attitude that uh, Gen Y, and they always uh, connected with internet, maybe 24 hours if uh, when they have time, and they uh, also have. Uh, uh, creativity to make uh, to make uh, new uh, creation, I think. But and uh, government uh, always encourage young people to uh, make innovation and to support a digital economy. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I would like to add uh, the information from if you did, Jen, that uh, the technology is not the enemy. The technology is a tool for our young generation to create a what we call it joyful and deep learning environment. Uh, right now, the Ministry of Education and Culture uh, try to implement what we call it 21st century learnings with the, what we call a new curriculums in which right now this year 25% of our school are already in the 21st century learning environment in which the technology is a must but again technology is not the purpose but technology is only a tools for our kid to get a joyful and deep learning environment. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And thank you for the question. It's a great question. And also thank you for the answers coming from the panelists. So uh, now the time is really up. So if you do have any questions or suggestions or opinions, you can ask the panelists or the industry experts after these sessions ended. But you can also send an email to Pa Aldi. Maybe Pa Aldi later will 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 display his email address. So again, please keep in mind how can we synergize the word innovative Indonesia? Your comments, your opinions are really matters for us, and we like to hear from you. And also to hear anything from you that can give us a really good insight about how we can build the innovation ecosystem. We heard about mindset, we heard about the culture of innovation, we heard about infrastructure, the future skills, and let me ask to, for the last, uh, for the last session that from Swita to sum up this whole session. 
Thanks so much, Danny. And a huge round of applause for Danny for moderating this session. Um, so this is actually not a sum up. I think what Sachin spoke right at the beginning was, this is just a beginning. We want to continue this conversation for sure. There is a draft recommendation compilation which is there in your kit bags. And Nona, can you stand up, please? So she's the one who's kind of putting it all together for the first two round tables. Uh, she'll be available. She can share her email ID. Rinaldi is, Rinaldi, can you just, he can share his email ID. I would really request if you can go through this and share your feedback with us. Any additions, any, anything which you think we've not covered, we've not spoken about, we would really want to incorporate that because this recommendation document is not going to go from one entity, but it's going to go from all of us. And when I say all of us, I'm talking about the delegates who attended either the first round table or the second round table and all of you here in this room today. With, of course, all the recommendations of what the panelists have shared with us and how do we take it forward. So just the beginning, please do share your feedback with us. We plan closing this in the next one month. So we have one month for you to actually go through the document, come back to us with your thoughts, possibilities, so that we can keep building synergies. And when the recommendations are finally ready to be shared, we'll of course share it back with you, but we'll also share with all the other people who've contributed in the process. And finally, they'll go for the innovation decree. So thank you so much for attending today, and a huge round of applause for all our panelists. Thank you so much for all for all the special guests, for each one of you who's joined us in this movement. I would just like to end on a couple of words. Creativity, there's a huge abundance in Indonesia. But how do we really move the creativity to ideation, to actual physical making, where it reaches to a stage of prototype like what you heard from Finna and other innovators, to finally productization. And in between, of course, there's this huge walk which still has to be made in getting the funding, getting support, till it finally becomes a product and becomes more viable for marketing. So it's a long process. It needs a lot of support from each one of you in whichever jobs you are. Thank you so much. Thanks.